scary thought, but bacteria are becoming more and more aggressive and resistant to antibiotics. Every hour, 80 people die from bacterial infections that we cannot treat. It's even scarier thinking that in the last 30 years, almost no new antibiotics uh, were developed and came to market. Antibiotics, they kill bacteria. We try another approach. We try to develop drugs that will not kill the bacteria, but rather neutralize their ammunition against humans. We think that this approach might induce less antibiotic resistance since the bacteria doesn't need to fight for its life. We found that a pathogenic bacterium named Staphylococcus aureus releases toxic protein fibers that attack our cells and immune system. Interestingly, similar looking fibers called amyloids are produced by humans and they are associated with Alzheimer's, Parkinson, ALS and other diseases. In contrast to humans, the bacteria use these fibers for their own benefit, including attacking the human host. In order to develop specific drugs against these fibers, we need to understand how they are built, right down to the atomic level. Luckily, the Technion provides state-of-the-art facility for doing that. Our eureka moment came when we finally managed to determine the three-dimensional structure of this bacterial fiber. And we realized that despite the high similarity to human amyloids, it is fundamentally different in its building block. And this fiber architecture has never been observed before. This discovery opens directions to develop new drugs to disarm the superbugs of one of its key weapons. It was tremendously exciting when we solved the structure. We immediately understood that this is a paradigm shift. It's so exciting to be a scientist, to be able to help people, and being a part of this global efforts is an awesome feeling.